Good morning, YouTube. This is Blue Falcon TCG with a fresh BT8 locals video. All right, on the left we have me playing Armor Rush, one of the most awaited decks. You know, kind of a new, new keyword. You know, bringing some freshness to the format. And then on the right we have the classic, most toxic from BT7, Blue Hybrid. So blue hybrid is also in a really great spot in this format. Um, source stripping is really strong. It could tempo. It can control the game state. So we'll see how this game goes. You know, um, the cool thing about the armor purge is that even if I check into security, my armor is just gonna purge, and I'm still gonna have the V mod. So I'll still have a body on board. So it's the one thing that rookie rush wasn't necessarily able to do. You know, just Swing into security, and if it, if it died, it died. But with Armor Purge, you basically, like, you know you're going to get a free swing, and then just leave your Vemon, or your Armadillo, or whatever is underneath it. You're just going to purge, which is great. Awesome concept. I love how unique and versatile this deck is. Um, the one problem is I feel like Armor Purge is a very high ceiling. But Blue Hybrid end up going first. Won the die roll, you know. We all love when blue goes, goes first. Get that memory. We enjoy the memories. Since it is hard playing a Matt Ishida, calling it good. I play the Vmon, putting him to one. He goes to two for Matt. I honestly don't know why I didn't hatch because I'm a goober. But we end up grabbing the Magnemon. Magnamon is honestly probably the best armor purge. Shortly followed by Lydramon. You know, Magnamon could be a 19k body. It has the power of a level 6 and a level 4, and it has blocker. Blue yellow already starts at 7k. A 7k blocker, 3 costs on the devolution onto a Vmon is pretty insane. Plays another Mad Ishida. It seems as though this fella here has bricked, which is great. Just passing it over to three for me. We're gonna hatch. We're gonna we're gonna play that jammy Vmon down. We're gonna slap the flame Dramon. You know the best attacker in the deck. Did you go for two onto a Vmon? Play the fire rocket. Gives it plus one security attack since I control a dual color. Or is it armor? It's a free, it's like a, um, it's like a worse, um, yeah, it's like a worse Atomic Inferno or Lightning Joust, because there's no DP gain. The security effect for Flame Rocket is actually Doodoo Butt. Not many people are playing blockers, and then if you do run into the one magnet, you get to pop the Magnum on. So that's kind of neato. We're gonna hit with that armor purge. And then Digivolve for three. Which is awesome. You know, I got Minyao a 9k blocker. So the only way he's gonna out this is if he Kuamon, Koikaku, or Howling. You know. Plays a Tommy to source strip. And if he has the Kori Kakumon, you know, we're going to be able to be just be stunned a little bit. But he does not. Passes over three. Now, the one thing I, I love about, about armor is that as soon as it tempos and it starts to get going, if you do not stop it, it will continuously just... Um, go. So that was a Jamie Vmon, Drew Fruit, MV for the jamming, Swing for the guys, Longmon. Because we, we know... We were on blue hybrid way too long to know that uh, we were on blue hybrid way too long to know that as long as is always in that security because it's never with us. Grabs Medoki Betamon, but we do have two checks off the flame rocket. And it was a howling memory boost. Right there, this secures us the game. 
No. If only we had that uh, that Jagras or another armor for game, it would have been great. But we got the Kumamon. Just to make sure that even if he board wipes, we're in such a great position. He's not going to swing 5 security with only 3 memory. Well, 5. He's supposed to go to 5 with the Mad Ishidas. And potentially 7 with the Howlin. But... At most, he'd be swinging for plus three after as long walk play. He's not going to be able to lethal. I'm going to digivolt the Kumamon. I'm going to source strip. Hmm. One thing I do actually love about Blue Hybrid is that it makes use of tamers and like you can play the vanillas and just kind of made those like worse tamers a little bit better because um they became like cheap rookies it's just uh i thought it was always like a cool concept and then now that we have jogris you can essentially just kind of get rid of um You can essentially get rid of the summoning sickness. You can just boom boom into a pile Dramon or into a uh, Chimeramon and DP reduce and swing. Check security, 6k. I'm oh, sorry, 5k Flame Dramon. And then he, he uh, stopped those for both attacking and blocking this turn, but we have the Kumamon for game. And we got to shuffle it all up into game two. You know, one thing I, I do enjoy about the armor rush is, like, one, the Digimon, my absolute favorite Digimon. Um, we all know how hard he went in the movie with that golden digi golden armor digi digitized. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it today, actually. You know, it's Wednesday. No, it's Thursday. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday. I'm going to watch Digimon. Probably this build is super preliminary. Um, it is. We are playing three. Three, the armor textures, which I think is a terrible brick. Um, I think I believe I cut it down to two. And then end up playing two fire rockets instead of three. Um, and I'm upping the I up the count of Chimeramons from two to four. And I'm playing two Lobos instead of two Kumamons. Um, the 5k DP is it does come up, you know, especially when you swing into um Imperial Jmon and you want to be able to beat the 4k Vmon or the Stingmon. Because if it does live, it opens up for a Joggers lethal. We got a small brick, you know, no, no, uh, no rookies, but we at least we got that sexy ass Ubermon holding it down in the raising area, keeping us safe, keeping us cute. Lays us in a hard place. Source strip, no armor perch for me. See, this is the reason why it is good. Blue can control a game state, especially if I can't start tempoing. However, we're out here gonna make moves. I believe in us. So we just Digivolves in the Kumamon, puts me to two. But we got that thick flame Demon, and we got no rookies. We got no rookies. So we're just gonna fire rocket. We're just gonna send it. With the flame of courage, we out here just smacking them. Got so many decisions. As you can see my hand, it is absolutely terrible. This is a big reason why we dropped the big reason why we dropped the um the armor texture down to two instead of three, because it's a brick. If that was a rookie, um 
our hand would have been way more live and way more consistent, especially if we used one of the um, the Vmons that just mills to top four at a dual color blue card, which is busted because you can have Mega Death or Giga Death or Davis Ken, phenomenal. Um, or you could, it could be any other other Vmon rookies that could um, you know allow me to dig through my deck, like you know. Hatching the raising area, did you for free? Setting up an armor texture on the bench. He's gonna play another Tommy. Put me down, put him down the two. You know, swing security, and it is a 2k, so it does actually get rid of the Midoki Betamon, which is kind of good for me. He did forget to draw with the Upamon. Um, he said he hasn't played the deck in a minute, but it's okay. We are at locals. It's nothing crazy. Ends up just playing a Sora Joe at this point. It looks like I'm in a pretty bad spot. However, I think we just topped the Chimeramon. So we could potentially make some sort of plays. First time playing the deck, had to read it. Come here, man, it's kind of busted. I honestly should have swung twice. But the Digivolve for free with the Jogras is nice. And that gives me four colors, so it's minus 4k DP. But. The best part about this play is that Vmon that lets me just draw. Cause even let you just draw, swing in. We see how bricked up I am. And we don't know what's in security, so I think this is probably the better play. There we go. Now we're starting to get some get some rookies on the board. Just one check into security. And we were correct. If we would have swung with any of those. Kendo would have stopped this whole play and gave us no consistency. So we ended up getting a, a Matt Ken off of this. So. Now, the reason why Matt Ken is probably one of the best tamers in the game. It is at the start of your main, like main phase. So if you already had a dual color Digimon in the raising area, um, and your opponent tries that memory choke you, nah, not happening, homie. Because you're just gonna promote that Lydramon or Piledramon or whatever from your raising area. Gain one memory for green, gain one memory for blue. There we go. And combo that with Davis, you're almost always going to have. You're almost always going to have at least four memory. And then if you're playing Imperial Jermon, you're going to have five. You have five all day, every day. And he's slashing with the ice wall. Now, this is where I actually misplayed the Ken. I should have went... Um, I didn't realize it was the start of your main phase in the first in, the, in this first match. Um, it should actually be at three in this. So realistically, I should be getting two swings or more. I could could have got more swings, but this puts us in a really great spot for a lethal. In the following turn, we don't know exactly what's in his hand, but he he only does have two security and he's under ice wall. And this is Cory Kaku, so. It lives, we're gonna swing with the, the Vmon and we're gonna hit with the Tommy. Now look at all those rookies he has on his bench. And he's gonna strip the Chimeramon. We are at two, but I do have the hybrid in hand for lethal. So we are only at four security, but he goes to a massive six. Potentially eight secure eight. 
eight memory this turn. Um, if he has enough hybrids in hand, he has lethal. So we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. You know, blue hybrid is in a great spot. It just requires a, I guess, more technical play style in this format since it is kind of a slow pace deck. Everything is super, super quick. And we did get a buff with Innocence Blizzard. Um, right here we know that he does not have enough hybrids in hand because he is absolutely just trying to dig for lethal. Um, only gets a Strawby, which is great for us. Terrible for the blue hybrid player, a.k.a. the Prius. But even with that dig, you know, there's still potential if he has Hammer Sparks. He does have the Howling on deck. But he hard plays a Strawby, still grinding for some hybrids. Ends up getting a Davis and a Beowulf. Yep, this pretty much just sealed the game for me. The only way is if he trashes Howling and then has two Koi Kakus to stun my board because he doesn't know I have a hybrid in hand. And that would kind of give him the reassurance to play one more turn. But as we know, he's taking way too long. So we know. We know he doesn't have the lethal. We know he doesn't have the Innocence Blizzard. But we, what we do know is, he doesn't know I have a hybrid. We out here big braining. Telling you, the two hybrids in this is great. The four joggers targets um, just gives a lot of potential for a lethal in this game. Oh, and I hit a Ken. Ken Davis, great. We're going to go to a lot of memory. Well, there is a hair on my sleeve. We're going to go to two. At least... Oh, and he bounces my stuff to hand with um, the the BT seven or four option card. Just return everything to hand. But um, just swing with the Chimera Monster game. Super great. Thank y'all for stopping by. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that like button. Enjoy this BT eight content because I sure as am, sure as hell am.